Hi guys, and welcome back to the Butterfly Farmer. Yesterday, I ran into one of North America's most interesting spiders. Now, a warning to all you arachnophobes out there. You're probably gonna find this video a little bit creepy, but I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you watch it all the way through. Hey, let's go check it out. You got the camera ready? All right. Okay, so underneath this piece of bark, um, I think hopefully she's still there, there should be a mother wolf spider. Now these guys are really amazing. Um, they're actually North America's, and actually the world's only spider that carry their young uh, on their back. Here, yeah, there she is. Let's see if we can catch her. Now there's about 150 to 200 species in North America and um, 3,000 species of wolf spider uh, around the entire world. But um, these guys are amazing creatures. Let me, let me see if I can get her out here. Now this part is actually, a, they gotta be a little bit careful here because wolf spiders definitely can bite and they are venomous. Um, luckily for me, oh yeah, look at that, look at those things. She could really, she could really chomp, chomp into me there. Um, luckily for me, they're not super venomous. Um, so not deadly poisonous. And this is a really good specimen. She's almost, I don't know if you can tell the size here, but she's almost two inches across. Yeah, so these guys are, are one of nature's most amazing little mothers. Uh, they, they not only carry the egg sac around with them, but then once the eggs hatch, they actually carry the baby spiders um, on their backs until they get old enough to fend for themselves. Let me see if I can get one of the, some of the babies to crawl off here. You can get a look at what's going on. She leaves a bit of silk just flowing behind her as a trail for the babies to crawl back and find their way back to her. I got the baby here and it's actually gonna crawl back to its mother. These guys are absolutely amazing little spiders. As a butterfly farmer, I not only work with butterflies, but I also end up working quite a bit with um, other animals that eat butterflies. And unfortunately, spiders are masters of hunters and wolf spiders are one of the ones that I have most trouble with. Uh, that's why I try to keep them away from my butterfly houses whenever possible. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And hey, if you have, do us a favor, uh, subscribe to our channel, we'd love to have you. And um, don't forget to share this video with all your arachnophobe friends. Uh, I think they'd enjoy it. Hey, you have a good one, see you later.